I may or may not have just created my favorite PC. I just redid my setup, so setup vid coming soon, stay tuned. Now the old PC though wasn't cutting it, so I need to upgrade, so let's build something that complements my new look. I love the white, black, and walnut look, and I wanted something that contrasts the black wall. I need to come up with something different though, you know, something unique, so I went with my tried and true creativity process, patented. Now this is the point where I immediately regret my decision. So remember, I am a mediocre professional. Do not try this at home. Turns out that creative process has some uh, repercussions or whatever. Look at my lip. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> it's all bloody now. I'm very sorry. The corner sorry. went straight from my lip. Please forgive me. You're grounded, go to your room. After waking up from that blackout, let me check to see what I come up with. All right, while well, I was knocked out, let's see what I come up with. Mustard and ketchup in the same bottle? Mustrip or Ketchard? No. Goat yoga PC? Maybe. White and gold PC? Uh, that could work. Let's try it. Fantex had just recently sent me an MV7 case, so let's use that. I need a beautiful white motherboard for this build, so I chose the Asus Rogue Strix Z790A Gaming. To save money, I'm just gonna use the 12900K that I already have, that I used for another build that I did you know, about a year or two ago. Next, I dropped down that Thermal Grizzly CPU contact frame for the 12th gen CPU for a nice, even surface for my Bits Power Premium Summit M Mystic Black CPU block. I was gonna buy some RAM and painted the color scheme, you know, the white and gold, but I stumbled across Team Group's T-Create Expert white and gold RAM and thought it would be perfect. I need some fast NVMe drives, so I bought two Samsung 990 Pro 1 terabytes. Now I made sure I updated the firmware on these as the old firmware had issues with degrading health issues. Fans had chosen the Lee and Lee SL120 V2 fans, but I wanted to paint the silver metal on them gold to help with the color scheme. I painted the rads white for the top and bottom and chose a thicker 40 millimeter for the top rad since I had the room and I wanted a little bit more cooling. The bottom one is a 27 millimeter one. Bits power is cool in this whole rig, but I want to get a nice distro play for this build. So I found the bike ski distro made specifically for the NV7 looked the best. Fittings I'm using are the Bits Power brass ones. I wanted some brass tubes that were pre-bent, but they didn't have them, so, and I didn't have a tube bender to bend my own. So I decided I was gonna paint them kind of a brass gold color, and then decided that I was going to do a fade or an ombre with that white coolant. It's gonna look cool. I didn't really know how I was gonna do it, but I ended up loving the results. You know, what do you guys think of the tubes? Should I use more, should I paint more of these tubes and put them in future builds? Let me know. The GPU I used was a 3090FE that was already blocked and I wanted to paint the backplate white to add to the color scheme. The black kind of just didn't cut it. My go-to PSU is Seasonic and so I went with a 1000 watt to power this whole thing. The beautiful PSU cables are made by CableMod and I did a custom configuration where I fitted the gold to white like my tubes with gold cable combs. So if you look at the cables, one end is gold and then it slowly fades into white and the other end is mostly white. I wanted to use an internal display monitor for temps and other specs, but do I get horizontal one above the motherboard or do I do a vertical one in the back? But here's another thing. Should I put fans in the back for you know helping with the cooling or should I actually you know do that display panel? Did you know that when water cooling, you don't have to follow rules for air cooling, like the front, the bottom is intake, and the top and the back is exhaust. Since the major components that put out the most heat, like the GPU and CPU, are being cooled by water, you need to cool the radiators as much as possible since the heat is being transferred by water. I actually did a test in all the different configurations of cooling this PC, and I found that the best temps is when the fans are on exhaust. So let me know if you want to actually see a video on this and how I actually did the testing. All kinds of different cooling configurations with the fans. After testing for leaks, it's time for the EK Cryofuel Cloud White Coolant. Now it'll look real nice through those ombre tubes. Get your drill buckets ready. It's time for the finished build.